26.5 on the opposite side. Moberly scores over 80, 86. Oh, wow, and that's a long three point. Forcing Pearl River to a, a fade jumper from 15 feet. Parker from way outside. Big rebound on the offensive glass by Caffaley. Put back not there. How about Bell? Taps it back out. Moore, step to the left, fire the three off the mark. Long rebound. Tenth best player in the 2022 Juco class. And can't get the rebound, though. Bell had it for a moment. Ball ends up on the floor. Mobile area down to scoop it up as Parker went down onto the floor to get it. Moore pulls up for three and has a third. Yeah, to get that missed shot. Staples, one-on-one, -on -one, game out here with Gross with the right hand. Banks it in on a nice move into the chance. Again, working the glass. Well, I tell you, the Greyhounds getting lots of extra possession. On that one, another three. Michael Thomas gives it outside Acott. Four reserves in the lineup right now for Moberly Area. Parker, the lone starter, back on the floor. A nice backdoor cut and a feed for Tuck. Game necessarily as he misses that three and a chance for Moberly Area to extend their lead. Floater by Tyron. Around to Brumfield. Finds Gross on the backside blocker. Check that Waller, but he's the final shot of the half, up by two. Yeah, what great interior vision to get the ball down low. A little head and shoulder fake would probably get you a, a wide open shot. Thomas into traffic. Staples on the putback. Count it for Dorian Staples. 38-37, and to answer that, Moberly has gone on a 10-2 run. Largest lead of the game for the Moberly Area Greyhounds. Their 30th appearance at the national tournament. Second most ever. Pearl River, meanwhile, making their third appearance and really just their second appearance because their one of those two previous was in 2020 when the tournament was canceled due to COVID. The teams that qualified that year from a record standpoint were credited with a national tournament appearance as Williams misses the three and the shot clock was win uh, for Carlos Williams and Pearl River with some full court pressure. Tie ball game with 8.18 to go. Wouldn't run it any other way on the opening game of the national tournament is Dor Monster the entire ball game, but you need to make sure you find quality possessions because there's not a lot of possessions left in the long three-pointer, you know. That hit on the arm, but lost that ball, and it comes back over to Morbidly area as Moore is feeling it. That, that you haven't done all game long to find a big bucket. Moore, the floater to answer on the by the 6'9", Bryson Waller to make it tough. Into Moore from half court for the tie. Oh, Moore! Tyron Moore! Score, leading rebounder on the year for Pearl River. So they're without him in this overtime period. Five minutes on the clock, 77 all. OT underway here in Hutch. Game one of the national tournament. Yeah, unfortunately, though, for Pearl River, Carlos Williams on that tip try to start the second half, tweaked an ankle a little bit. He's... Uh, He's hobbling the loose ball, a turnover on the opening possession of overtime for Pearl River. And now back comes Moberly area. Thomas, step to his right, fires up an open three and splashes overly. Looking for the answer, Cameron Brown, not there, long rebound. And it's scooped up by Dent, pushed ahead to Thomas with a one-handed slam. Coaches are okay with that oh, if yeah. it's consistent on both sides. Oh, I like it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the ticky-tack foul. You'll nope. get that once in a while as well. Ball on the outside. Here's a dribble penetration. Goes for the jam! Oh, oh, oh my goodness! Yesterday <laughs> and right now, this one's the only one at halftime now. All right. Pretty good lead. I don't want to hear overtime. Oh, drive down low. Layup good. Nice job. Picking it in. There's Moore off the ball screen. Rolls to the right. They switch out. Stay on the man-to-man -man by Salt Lake. Tenacious defense. Here's Toppin with a big jam. <laughs> with the Brinson. He is 4 like you said, yeah, five out of six times. Oh. Put back up in Kansas, uh -huh. and Kansas and Utah. Out in Utah are Those the best. Four. Yep. Well knocked away. Spin away now. Just defended a whole lot of regions. <laughs> Drive inside. <laughs> wow. Another one. Moberly. Down by 13-point margin. Thomas back on the outside. Moore to Thomas. Three-pointer right wing. Got it. Dead. He got a lot of luck yesterday. Let's see if it happens today. Three-pointer from the corner by Parker. Good.
four at the stripe. Looks so comfortable at the free throw line. Free throw toss. Shot comes Missed. off. No good. Rebound cleared. 80-73. The lead is seven. It's still a three-possession game due to that miss. And then they're stolen away. Here comes Dent. On down low to Michael. Shot up a gushing game with a four-point lead. Uh, if you're mobile, you can push it quickly, take it inside. They're going to shoot it from the corner. Three by Parker. Got it! We got it. will push it. Time to get something done. Outside, they'll kick it back. Here's a three on its way up and good from outside.